Howdy AGP students. This lesson will cover ratios and proportions. A ratio is a fixed relationship between two numbers of the same type. For example, four tires per one car. A proportion represents an equivalent relationship that exists, exists between two ratios. We'll typically look at a proportion as thing one over thing two equals other one over other two. And to build on our car example, thing one, we would have four tires over one car is equal to eight tires over two cars. So it's a fixed relationship that is equivalent. And when you're making these proportions, you want to make sure that the top and bottom items are comparing the same thing. So in our example, the four cars on one tire, those are the same. Um, and then you want to make sure that when you're setting up this proportion that thing one and other one are the same units and the same thing should also be true for thing two and other two. So in our case, thing one and other one both were tires, four and eight, and thing two and other two were cars, one and two. When working on these problems, you may have to perform some type of conversion as we'll see in our first example. These problems typically appear on the SAT in the form of recipes, map scaling, similar triangles, or rate times time distance problems. For recipes, you'll typically be given some ratio and then be required to find one of the ingredients required given a change in the other ingredient. Map problems usually compare the scale of a map to real world distances. Similar triangles are typically seen in the form of shadow problems. These problems typically, typically compare the shadows of two different items given the height or shadow length of some of them. Rate time and distance problems are typically seen when given a particular rate, how long or how far an individual or object has traveled. Let's take a look at our first example. This problem states, a recipe that makes two dozen cookies requires one and a half cups of sugar. To make 60 cookies using the same recipe, how much sugar is needed? A, 1 20th of a cup, B, three cups, C, three and three quarter cups, D, 12 cups, or E, 45 cups. This problem is asking how much sugar is needed for 60 cookies. And the in initial ratio that we're given is dozens of cookies to cups of sugar. Because we have the second ratio of cookies to cups of sugar, we're going to have to convert that dozen of cookies or the cookies to the same units. Because two dozen cookies actually represents more than two cookies. So we'll first start there and we'll make that conversion. We know that 12 cookies are in each dozen of cookies. So let's go ahead and bring out our calculator and multiply 12 times 2. And that's going to give us 24 cookies. So now we can set up our uh, ratio like we had before. Thing 1 over thing 2 equals other 1 over other 2. In this case, we know that initially our first given ratio is 2 dozen cookies to 1 and a half cups of sugar. So thing 1 is, would be 24 cookies. Thing 2 would be 1 and a half cups of sugar. The other one and other two need to correspond. So other one would be 60 cookies, and other two would be x. So let's go ahead and set this up, plug it in. So 24 cookies over 1 and a half cups of sugar equals 60 cookies over x cups of sugar. Now we need to cross multiply and divide. We'll go ahead and do that. So we have 60 times 1.5 and that's going to equal 90. And then we're going to divide that by 24. And that gives us 3.75. And so you can see here, 3.75. And 3.75 is the same as 3 and 3 quarters. Going back to our original problem, we can see that answer choice C is 3 and 3 quarters. So if we wanted to make 60 cookies with the same recipe, we would need 3 and 3 quarter cups of sugar. Our next example sets up a ratio. Example 2 reads, for every 20 games a basketball team plays, it loses 6 games. 
What is the ratio of the team's losses to wins? A, 3 to 10, B, 7 to 10, C, 3 to 7, D, 7 to 3, or E, 10 to 3? This is a little tricky because it asks for a ratio of losses to wins, but only gives you losses per total games. So for every 20 games, the team loses 6 games. That doesn't tell you how many games they win, but we can do a little bit of math and figure that out. So the key is losses to wins. So our first is losses, so we know that every 20 games, 6 are lost. So 6 to 20 minus 6 should give us the losses to wins. So we go ahead, we can get our calculator again, subtract 20 from 6. Since they have played 20 games and lose 6, we'll be subtracting 20 minus 6. That's going to equal 14 games. So out of every 20 games, they actually win 14. So the ratio is 6 to 14, but that's not in reduced form because these both can be divided by 2. And so we actually get 3 to 7. And if we look back at the original problem, answer choice C is indeed 3 to 7. So the ratio of losses to wins is 3 to 7. So every 3 games they lose, they win 7 games. Let's take a look at example problem 3. Here, Jose traveled for 2 hours at a rate of 70 kilometers per hour, and for 5 hours at a rate of 60 kilometers per hour. What was his average speed for the seven hour period? Now this is one of those uh, problems where you, we use the rate, time, and distance. Here I want you guys to take a minute, work through this problem, and we'll cover it in class.